So folks, uh, some of you have uh, read the post that I made recently when I kind of came to a, um, a realization that the Republican Party and the Democratic Party have become so close together when it really matters that like, there's no point in there being two different parties. Uh, I posted, so if Biden is what the DNC wants, that means the Democratic Party has decided that it's pro-war, pro-NAFTA, trans-Pacific partnership, pro-rape, anti-health care, anti-social security and Medicare. So what is the point of two having two parties anymore? So we can argue about guns and abortion? And one of the groups that I uh, posted this was an Andrew Yang group. Now, to be clear, I don't think this guy that I'm about to expose here really is, you know, bousing any kind of views that Andrew Yang has. But he's pretty clearly a Biden supporter. Um, so he tried to argue with me and my points. I'm going to be really careful here because I imagine this guy is probably going to block me after this because he said something really despicable. But his name is Ryan Osterman. Um, Looking here. Um, so anyway, he said just because Joe voted for the Iraq war doesn't mean he's necessarily pro-war. Uh, we were all lied to. Everyone was for the free trade at the time, so we shouldn't be blamed for falling for it. So that's why it's okay for NAFTA. And is pro-rape, what are you talking about? Joe is for universal health care. He likes Yang is a more pragmatic approach than single payer. Um, he's for social security. So anyway, I... I posted, you know, in response, Joe is a rapist. You missed that somehow because that's the part that's relevant. And then posted a bunch of links that, you know, completely disproved his points. But the one that was most important that is the reason I'm making this video is he then goes on to say this. She lost all credibility when she said who she favored for president and pretty much confirms that she is trying to sabotage Joe's campaign. She should have reported it when she had the chance. I understand that it's hard to report these things, but now let's move on to help people do better. And then he says, you're just giving a vague response to Joe being pro-rape. He said, he said that he will veto Medicare for all, Bernie's version of it. And then I said, she never lost credibility. She was a Warren supporter initially. Yeah, given the choice between her rapist and Bernie, she's going to pick Bernie. Duh. And then I said, there is nothing vague about it. He raped her, period. He goes on to say... Yeah, revealed who she voted for. That pretty much erases all credibility for her. And I said, what the fuck does who she voted for have to do with whether or not she was raped? Are you fucking serious? And then he says, no, you were trying to say that Joe is pro-rape, which you've showed nothing for. And then he says, it gives way to say that, oh, she's just being partisan. And I said, I just did. Listen to that interview. I, I linked the uh, Democracy Now! interview. You, were si you have simply decided that you're not going to believe her as it doesn't fit your narrative. You are disgusting. He says, yeah, YouTube can be doctored to promote false information, which is why I don't listen to it. I said, it really seems so far-fetched to you. Have you not watched the compilation videos of him putting his hands and lips on women and little girls who are clearly not comfortable with it? Are you blind? And then I used one of the Creepy Joe video compilations. He then says, I believe her, but frankly, she just gives way to people who say, oh, she is being partisan. And then I said, YouTube can be doctored? What the fuck? How much are you getting paid to cover for this guy? Ryan Osterman says, I believe her, but frankly, she just gives way to people believing, saying that she is being partisan. And then I put, you believe her, but? You know, and then this guy's posting about the military stuff. And then he goes, I said it. She should not have revealed who she voted for. Plus, two rapists against one? Which one to choose? Is that really the psychopathic, ridiculous point that we're going to make? Really? That that's where we're going to go? And then I just said, I just screenshotted this so that you could never deny saying it later. You just said you believe her, but it just doesn't matter. Welcome to being pro-rape. So this is what I mean when I say that the DNC has decided it's going to become pro-rape. And then this asshat, Ryan Osterman, decides to say, two rapists against one another, which one to choose? Like, that makes it okay? Wow. Who is this loser? Well, let's take a closer look so that everybody knows. Here's your guy. Pro-rapist. Ryan Osterman. 